So this is actually, this is in the book. This is in the anthology, page 36. And this is what happens when you crumple paper. Okay. Here we go. Hi. Talk amongst yourselves. You don't have to, it's fine. Just relax. It's take metal shovel and gym membership strength toward earth. They're scooping of soil, of dirt, a floor, and what is found? Skeletons, old spoons, bones of babies or mother's glass, lots and lots of glass. And on this hot day in August, she dug at me, curved her sturdy body in order to find what was hidden reached the bones that had never been touched, sacrum, ilium, mishium, pebus. My walls, my well, broke a pipe I was gushing, released my silence I was screaming. Her fingers replaced metal shovels and the rest, and the rest, and the rest got lost inside the aromatic home first orgasm. How to describe something that has too often been over-described? I was expecting, I was expecting my body to change shape. Alter in color so as my skin reflected the light of the early morning, everyone would notice or my blood would be harder like sheetrock, waiting to be cracked or my sweat would be seasoned like grilled summer meat. She is far less than a novice than I. Although younger, she has been practicing for many years with men and she treats me like one. She treats me like one. There is rage in her teeth and she bites into me as though I'm a predator, but she wants this, she wants me. 
I'm a playground for her bite marks. We are too young to know about bottom or top, sub or dom. She is grinding her female into mine, and we are pulverizing our gender into something far more historical and intricate. I am the reek of her skin between her thighs and beneath her arms as though cigarettes no longer exist. Her body is the new tobacco substitute and I, I'm a chain smoker. We tryst and turn inside each other and yes, there is kissing. And yes, there is ripping of and yes, there is pulling of hair. No pillows, no lace, no pink, just In the afterward, I drove home. I walked her to her porch, to her front door, to her bedroom. I walked her around the block to the hood of my car, to the back seat. At home, I thought of her. I thought of fractions, her bottom half. I thought of symmetry, which she had two of. I thought of when the next time would be. I cheated on her with my hand, with my pillow, with my mother's shoulder massager because I was too scared to buy something made simply to seizure between my thighs. And with First love or first fuck or first climax comes spill of complications, spill of complications. Deep inside that August, it was as if I had ended a famine from an 18-year hunger strike, and now I've tasted red velvet cake for the first time or one of those marzipan rainbow cookies or steak because women can be needy too. My telephone became a tunnel toward her. We practiced high-pitched moans from the dirty slang we slung into each other's ears. But how long does this remain? How long does it stay like this? How long until these sensations become memorized and her touch just her fingers against my shoulders is enough to get me wet? How long? How long until I start to notice that she smells like yogurt past its date of freshness? How long? <laughs> How long until I begin to fixate on the cracking of her jaw every time she kisses me and the whiteness of her teeth and how sometimes the jewelry caught inside her body is not as clean as it should be? How long? How long until I find her cunt hairs mixed into mine? It's no longer cute. It feels threateningly suffocating. How long? How long until she tells me she loves me? Two weeks tells me each day must end like this. How long? How long until she finds out where my other job is applies and works there too? How long? How long until hours feel like minutes or rather seconds until I don't catch her looking at me or attempting to touch me? How long until my orgasm reaches a different pitch because it no longer arrives from the gut but from pre-rehearsed vocal cords? How long? How long until my eyes focus on another and this one is shorter and this one's breasts are less round but they arouse me just the same and this one doesn't know my middle name or what makes me cry and this one just a body. Maybe names should be saved for later on. When one is really ready to commit. But until then, the moon is watching and it's kind of like a giant nightlight hiding our lens.